you come to the Chioto Tower, I recommend you come early. They open at 8.15, but if you can come at 8, it will be brilliant. You will be here very quickly. And if you manage to climb all those steps, I mean, it's, it's gonna take a while. The view from the Chioto Tower is fantastic. The only challenge is if you come with a professional camera, it's gonna be very difficult because everything is behind bars. If you come with a phone, that's gonna work perfectly. We have one of these ones in London as well. So I was curious to try here in Florence. I had a cappuccino and I had one pastry with custard cream. Honestly, the pastry is exactly like in Argentina. And I really, really, really feel like a lot of these pastries are very similar in Buenos Aires. But of course, we're a lot of immigrants, a lot of influence. Cristina has a different opinion about Italy. She tried Cafe Corretto. It's not about the place, it's about the coffee. Yeah, the coffee is with alcohol. Do you want to try something new? Definitely not for me, and I'm not willing to try ever again in my life. Bad choice. Okay, one important thing to know if you come to Central Market here in Florence, they have a lot of food, super delicious so far, but it's by weight. So you might see, oh, this is 150, this is two euros, but then they wait and you end up paying much more. This market is absolutely insane. You literally can't eat here. It's just one level up and you have everything to eat. Super well presented. Super clean. Wow, it's just fantastic. If you, if you know Madrid, sort of a Mercado San Miguel times 100. Absolutely incredible. This is called Cantucci, one of my favorite things in Italy. Cristina bought like 300 grams, little gifts for the family. But if you ever come to Italy, you cannot miss Cantucci. That's it. <laughs> it's fantastic because it's not just the usual bread and meat and fish and all the things you find in any market in the world, but upstairs on the first floor, you can actually try all that. You can sit down, grab your coffee, grab your pastry, grab your pizza, pasta, whatever you want. Because everything super fresh. Just next to the Mer Mercato Central, you have the Mercato di San Lorenzo, where they sell all leather, jacket, bags, purses, wallets, whatever. A anything related to leather you find in that market. It's a leather paradise, huh? <laughs> you can negotiate as well all the prices. This guy, have a look, have a look. How much? 30 euros. You leave and then? It's straight away 5 euros less. A lot of tourists in this area because we are close to the Piazza di Duomo. Probably if you wake up early, maybe you can skip some people. Triple Q, triple Q for a sandwich. Unbelievable. Apparently, this is one of the best places for sandwiches in Firenze, in Florence. There's three queues actually, they have three different shops. They even have staff members to put you on the queue, to scan the code and all that. Quite excited to try another sandwich. Probably the best sandwich I ever had. Okay, so this coffee shop, Dito Artigianale. Having a little flat white, it's excellent. But what is more interesting is that they have Ferne Branca. So in Italy they have Ferne Branca everywhere. If you are Argentinian, you might think, no, but Ferne Branca, Argentinian and all that. No, it's actually an Italian drink. And here they have it, you know, after meal, after dinner or whatever, like a digestive with ice and that's it. Whereas in Argentina they have it with Coca-Cola and a massive glass actually. 3 p.m. Maybe I will wait for the cocktail till late. Oh. Oh. You okay? My new car. So you know, I'm like 186, 187. See this car here? Probably a meter. Definitely it's not a car for me, but there's a car for many other people. So I'm here with a chef, somebody who loves food very much and likes to do food tours. In Lithuania, where you are from, 
ice cream is not a big thing. But now you're in a country where ice cream is incredibly popular. So for me, heavy flavors, it's a bit hard. For example, you prefer chocolate, everything too, yeah. in that order. To me, it's kind of dessert, like a proper dessert. For me, ice cream is to enjoy with something more light. I think in general, yeah, you can find like an amazing place. It's amazing. So that's the reason you try avocado ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I try avocado because I had to try something new. Seriously, how can they make avocado ice cream? If you're Italian, let me know in the comments. I never heard of this in my life, but they actually sold this. One time experience. The best is the maker of ice cream, Buon Talenti, a particular cream. That it's uh, good. Uh... It's just delicious. Exactly. <laughs> Gelato is so good. Mi piace tantissimo. Where Michelangelo now is like a very popular square and we're gonna try to do the time lapse. 